difference? How do you take what's working and make it better? How do you have a voice? How do you have a voice? How do you make it heard? How do you use what's inside of you? How do you use what's inside of you? To inspire them. How do you change the world? What are three types of energy transfers and photos you teach? Teaching is calling you. Well, teaching is for everyone, and the Connecticut Education Association is launching a statewide initiative to expand the minority teaching force. And here are the details is CEA President Jeff Leak, along with 2019 Teacher of the Year, Bridgeport Music Teacher Sheena Graham. Thank you both for being here. Thank you Thank for, you for having, having us. Having us. Uh, Jeff, tell us the problem. Why did you have to launch this campaign? For some time now, we've known that the uh, population of our students is not matching the population of our teaching uh, force. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been working at this for quite some time, uh, but we're really ramping it up right now to say we need teachers of color to be in our classrooms in way more uh, numbers than they are right now. And why is that so crucial? It's very important for kids to see folks who, who look like them in front of their classrooms. Mm -hmm. It's especially important in the youngest grades we know that <clears throat> a student who uh, sees a teacher of color, someone like them, uh, is, is more likely to be successful in school as they move on. Sure. And Sheena, you've had teachers in your life that it inspired you to become a teacher yourself. Definitely. In fact, um, speaking to that point, um, Mrs. Christian, Wilhelmina Christian, was my high school English teacher, and she was my first African-American female teacher. Um, and I really thought she was harsh. <laughs> on me. I really, I was the only minority in that class and she just drilled at me and drilled at me and I told her, I think something, you know, I think you don't like me. Um, and she basically said to me, you have so much more in you than you realized. Mm -hmm. And she set the bar so high for me that when I finished college, I had to come back and thank her for everything that she's done. Sure. So I think it does make a difference. Seeing someone who looks like you that has those high expectations for you and shows you that you can go farther. She ended up being a Milken educator. Oh, that's cool. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so the goal of the campaign? The goal of the campaign is to emphasize this in a, in a way that we haven't done before. Uh, we've been trying different things over the years. Uh, CEA has, for a number of years, had a uh, minority teaching scholarship mm -hmm. uh, where we uh, are looking for youngsters who are graduating from high school who are interested in a, t a teaching uh, career. Uh, so we provide them scholarships as we move on for all four years as they as they move through. Mm -hmm. uh, what we've done lately is reach out to the minority teachers and teachers of color that we have in Connecticut uh, by gathering together in socials, for example. Uh, one of the things we hear from teachers of color is there's sometimes a feeling of isolation. They don't see others even in the teaching profession that look like them. So we're trying to uh, get a little bit of a collegial kind of thing going and uh, and make sure that uh, they feel supported and also help us to reach out to our high school and even middle school students to say consider a teaching career. Absolutely. Well, how do you sign up? How can uh, people learn more? Uh, on our website, CEA.org, uh, is the best place to kind of find out what's going on mm -hmm. and become involved. And we're going to be reaching out to, uh, again, teachers of color who want to be involved in our organization in a, be in a greater way. Very good. Well, thank you both for being here, Shannon. Thank you for sharing your story, thank your you inspiration. And, of course, again, learn more at that website, CEA.org.